Welcome to the third episode of our laminating video series. In this episode, we'll be opening the door to our R&D secrets to give you an idea with what kind of things we are working on here and what kind of things we have in the pipeline to come out later this year. One of the most common trends in the laminated glass market is the growing complexity of the end products. Uh, at the same time, this is increasing the performance of the laminates, but it's also posing some new challenges to the processing equipment. Uh, in our projects, we normally work very closely with our customers to optimize the process and the process for the products. And through that, we have also a very good understanding of the most common challenges that are related to processing these kind of laminates. And we have prepared for you one example laminate here, where you can see one of the most common issues that you can see on laminated glass. So Jussi, could you tell us that what we are seeing here and why does this glass look not so good? Yes, uh, here we have a, a typical uh, pre-lamination example of a complex glass. And you can see that the, the center temperature and, and the edge temperature have been different. And that's why we get this very common trapped air problem. And, and this is basically not relevant on which technology you are running, but every time the same happens due to the physics. And now, in our case, we, we have been working with our customers and we have seen it in many places with the old technologies and new technologies. And now we have been able to understand the behavior of these things behind this. And we have tried to provide a solutions for this. So next we are going to run a glass, which is being run with our latest convection technology. And, and this uh, technology is built to tackle this issue. And the glass type will be 3 times 10 millimeters with two center films uh, in between the glasses. So here we have uh, the glass samples driven by this convection control system on. So what you can see that this on, on this bigger glass, the trailing edge area, you have much nicer result uh, than here. The glass composition and the parameters are otherwise exactly the same. And, and this really gives the, the bigger uh, processing window for the operators to succeed on, on these complex, complex glasses. I have to say that that's a very impressive result. And uh, what that means in practice for a glass processor is that you are able to produce the, even these very challenging multilayer laminates with high capacity and high yield and still keeping the ease of use of the ProL technology in the package. And this new convection technology that we are now developing uh, here in Finland will be launched very soon. So Stay tuned for upcoming news on this and it won't be long until glass processors will be able to start utilizing it in real production. And the nice thing for existing users of the ProL technology is that the newly developed convection system can be upgraded to an existing line. And in the next episode, we'll be discussing laminating line upgrades in more detail and how we can help to improve your capacity and capability of an existing line. So stay tuned for the upcoming episode and see you then.